Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will continue to look at the MJ Bots controller, Motius controller. And the reason why I'm doing this is because one of my viewers said that these controllers they behave a little bit strange when the motor speed is very low. Let's look at this. This is a setup from my previous video. It has the Motius controller and this big motor. First, let's try the slow motion with the T view. I'm going to move it with the speed 0.03. And now let's look at the motor. And you see that uh, the motion is not homogeneous. And you can see this also on the graph in the T view. The same if I will go back. And if I will increase the proportional term by factor of 2, it uh, maybe makes uh, everything a little bit better, but not perfect at all. For the faster motion, we don't see this problem. At least it's more difficult to see this problem. Now let's try to move this motor slowly, but using the Python module. I wrote this program. And it moves this motor in one direction with a constant speed. And afterward it moves this motor in the opposite direction to zero with also constant speed. So actually we advance the position by this factor. And after I plot the position value. So let's try this one. You see the motion is still not homogeneous. It's kind of jerky and probably it's uh, related to the Coggin torque. And now when the program finish uh, everything, it's going to plot uh, the position. Let's wait for this. And this is our position. And you see it uh, has this kind of ripples. It's quite regular ripples and uh, it really looks like it's uh, connected to the number of pole pairs. Now you can say that probably my motor is faulty and the problem in the motor and not in the controller. So to check this, let's connect this development kit and see how this development kit performs at slow speed. Let's move our motor. You see that rotation is still not really homogeneous. And this is exactly what we see also on this graph in the T-view. Now let's try to do the same with the Python program. I use exactly the same Python program and the only thing which I change is that I decrease the maximum torque because this is a smaller motor. Let's look at this behavior. I think we can already conclude that it's not super homogeneous. It's harder to see than with the bigger motor. But still it's not uh, really perfect. I think for many applications it could be enough. But for example, for the camera gimbal, this is uh, not perfect at all. So let's now look at the graph. And we see that it's way better than uh, with the bigger motor, but still there is this, you see like... <clears throat> the next question which I would like to answer is, uh, what about other controllers? For example, a MIT Cheetah controller. Does it have the same problem? To test this, I need to have the MIT controller and the problem is that this one is faulty, it does not work. I know this, I tested it several times. Fortunately, one of my viewers, he was so kind that he sent me MIT Mini Cheetah controller. And here is the Twitter of this nice guy. I think he deserved to be famous. This is a controller from SteadyWin company. I connected this controller to the same motor as this one. I have installed the proper software on the MIT controller. And now I need to calibrate this motor. For the calibration I need to connect the power. And I need to connect the USB. 
Now let's uh, check that encoder is working. For this it's over here. And if I rotate the motor, I see that encoder value changes. This is perfect. And so now we are ready to do the calibration. Okay, the calibration is done, but it was a strange noise during the calibration, so I'm not sure that it's going to work. Now let's try to control this motor with Arduino through the CAN bus. For this, let's connect the power. Power is on. Now let's enable the motor and let's try to move it. It works. It holds the position, but the stiffness is quite low. Now let's see how this controller behaves at low speed. For this, I need to change the program on my Arduino. I increase the stiffness and also I decrease the speed. Let's see if it performs better than Motius controller. Is it better? I think it's still not really homogeneous. But probably for me it looks a little bit better. Also like Motius controller, there is some noise from this motor. And I also have another motor, this one. This is from one of my previous video. And uh, this motor is connected to the O-Drive controller and to the magnetic encoder. Let's see the performance of the O-Drive with the same type of motor. First it's going to do the calibration. And what is interesting is that during the calibration the rotation is perfect, it's perfectly homogeneous. And this is completely different from Motius controller and also from the MIT controller. Both Motius and MIT during the calibration they rotate the motor not homogeneously at all. So now motor holds its position. Let's put some slow speed. And as you can see, this rotation, I think it's not uh, really homogeneous, but it's uh, not bad. It's quite good. Another thing which I noticed with the oil drive is that it controls the motor really in the silent way. I can barely hear the sound of the motor, the most sound it comes from the power supply, from the fan of the power supply, but the motor is uh, almost completely silent. I think the only noise which I hear is the noise from the bearings. So this is three identical motors connected to the three different controllers. This is O-Drive, this is MIT Mini Cheetah like controller and this is Motius controller from the MJ Bots company. Today I quickly looked at the low speed performance and in my opinion O-Drive is the winner. I think on the second place is MIT Mini Cheetah controller and on the third place is Motius controller. Also one of the interesting fact is that during the calibration or drive motor rotates really homogeneous, perfectly. And during the calibration of the MIT controller and uh, Motius controller the rotation was not homogeneous at all. And also interesting thing is that Motius controller from MJ Bots and MIT Mini Cheetah controller they makes quite noticeable sound when uh, the motor is enabled, when the controller is enabled. At the same time, the motor controlled by O-Drive is super silent. My overall conclusion, the O-Drive has really nice performance. It's not really convenient controller to work with because it does not have the encoder, it's quite big, bulky, it's difficult to connect all the wires, but I think the performance-wise is the best.
The MJ Boats is the most convenient in terms that you can do everything through the canvas and uh, you can buy all the necessary accessories on the MJ Boats company website. So I think this one is uh, really the most convenient to work with. This is my quick comparison of these three controllers. I did not compare it the performance in terms of the torque, I only compared it in terms of the slow motion rotation and uh, also in terms of the how much sound they produce. But I think in terms of the torque, I'm pretty sure that they should be quite similar to one to each other. Thank you for watching this video. Huge thank you to my Patreons and to the people who support me via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you guys, you are the best. Stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.